Uh, well, today we welcome the announcement of Jackie Trad and the Queensland Government in regards to the, uh, the halt on these trains coming in from India. It's quite clear uh, there's been some major issues with the trains in relation to safety. Uh, we had a state government, uh, the previous state government, stand up and clearly boast about the cost savings that these trains, by sending them off to India to be manufactured, would come. So confident were they. They put out a press relief virtually saying how they're going to cut the costs in half. But what we're actually seeing now is potential for huge cost blowouts. But the absolute tragedy in this whole story is that we have manufacturing facilities across Queensland, from Townsville through to Rockhampton, through to Maribor, through to Brisbane, who are laying idle where they can't get work into these facilities and quite clearly have easily manufactured these trains uh, in the past. No, I've got to say to Tim Nichols and to Scott Emerson, who have got out very clearly, and made very clear statements recently in regards to the rail industry in this state. No, where is their stance now in regards to manufacturing and where it stands? Are you able to outline what exactly the problem with these trains are? What we're hearing is we're getting very strong reports in regards to safety standards with the trains, not only in regards to driver visibility, but the braking, also uh, uh, disability access, uh, just some of the issues, and the list is growing each and every day when the information flows through. We, we call on the State Government to reshore this work. Quite clearly, we've got a proud history since Federation of building rolling stock in this state. We've got four major facilities laying idle, and as a major call, and we've been in discussions with the State Government, that we should reshore this work. We've got the facilities, we've got the skills, we've got the know-how, and we've got people looking for work to do this work. How long have uh, your workers been warning of these problems? Since its inception, we were concerned very from the first day when we heard this was going offshore. For the first time in Queensland, major rail uh, infrastructure being sent offshore to India, where we knew we had the world's best technology. We had a skilled workforce, we had a proven track record of delivery on time, on budget, and in regards to safety standards, second to none. No problems with the manufactured goods that's come out of Queensland in the past. Could local manufacturers have met the price? Obviously there's a differential in cost. We can't compete. We talk about globalisation. We can't compete with countries like India. But at the end of the day, I don't think there's any price you could put on the safety of the Queensland travelling public in regards to ensuring that we get the right infrastructure in place and that we any uh, uh, infrastructure built meets the Australian standards, and especially the high standards that we do have within Queensland Rail. Was your union's concerned that it was being sent offshore generally or being sent to India specifically? been sent offshore. Why would you send infrastructure off offshore? We have a lot of people in Queensland, we have skilled workers in Queensland, we have infrastructure in Queensland. This and our proven track record of building these trains in the past is a no-brainer for our union. This work should have been done here and it would have been a bolster to regional communities uh, all across the state in regards to this work being done in Australia, in Queensland. Come forward. We're not, we're not privy to the full extent of some of the, uh, the uh, deficiencies with the trains. We're relying on information coming in, but it's quite clear, clear the high standard that we have within Queensland Rail in regards to the safety of the travelling public. It's not meeting those standards, hence why the, uh, the, Premier's made, uh, sorry, the Deputy Premier's made the announcement today to put a hold on these trains. I guess, what's your solution from here? Our solution is, uh, of the government, there should be urgent discussions uh, within industry, but also within the trade unions, to have a discussion about how we can uh, revitalise the existing manufacturing plants we've got across the state to make sure we can get this work in. Uh, it might cost a little bit more in reshoring it, but at the end of the day, I think the cost of reshoring it will clearly outweigh the cost of having to rebuild, refurb over in India, and also the, uh, some of the alleged uh, improvements we're hearing have to happen at train stations and platform heights and the like, and that's why we need to be sitting down, government, industry and unions, to figure out how we can fix this up, and we welcome that opportunity to sit down with all industry parties to try and reshore this work with modern features to increase passenger comfort and safety. Well, I think safety is quite out the window right now in regards to what we're seeing and some of the reports we're getting. So uh, it's their own press release and uh, it's, a, it's a blight on Nichols and it's a blight on uh, Emerson, especially in the light of their recent comments about the rail industry and what's been happening across rail. Uh, they're a big contributor to where we're at right now.